वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू चेक हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट फेसबुक ऑडियंस नेटवर्क इन टू अवर फ्लटर एप्लीकेशन लेट्स चेक इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड अ पैकेज दैट विल प्रोवाइड अस टू of features to integrate uh, Facebook uh, inter, uh, Facebook audience network into our Flutter application. For that, let's open the pub.dev and search for the package for the ads network. Right. So we find we find your Facebook audience network, which is for which popularity is 96%. And there is a FB audience network add which which popularity is 56 and there is another 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 some package but we are going to with the highest popularity and check how it uh, how it's work so let's go to the installing step and here is a dependency we just need to copy it and into our application go to our pub spec yaml file and paste it here i already did it uh, because uh, to get uh, sync uh, to save some time right okay so here it is uh, let's close it and now let's come in, into the our main dot dart file so i created this uh, uh, template a simple template when we create the product application and I remove the all the unnecessary code just <coughs> now I start for start to making from scratch so run the app and we need the widget so let's create the widget now step stepless widget and which is uh, I say is my app right and I pass it to the run application my app. That's it. Let's go down and we are going to create one stateful widget. So SDS stateful widget. If you are using the Android Studio, then you should know that the STFL will create the structure for our stateful widget, right? So name it home page. So here is a home page. Let's say that's my material application. It's for simplicity and just check it and run. And while it is running, we check the further the <coughs> step. Should initial, we should override one method which is init state right and we have to initialize 
Yes. Audience network here. Yeah. Audience network not in it. With testing ID which we get it from here. We are going to so I am going to so with the testing ID only right. Generally, a banner ad, a banner ads display at the bottom of the screen. So, for that, we put one of facts here. button will load the load uh, banner ad so we uh, create the one uh, one variable which is of type with get and it is called let's say banner ad initially it is uh, like uh, nothing will be there uh, once uh, user click on the banner ad we are going to click uh, we are going to load that in so initially it is uh, as box right so here is a builder add let's load it okay now we are uh, creating a hmm, function which which will load the banner add let's say load banner add ID and banner size. Banner size is none other than standard. Okay. And go on another uh, listener. Listener will use to when we uh, when user click on the uh, particular now and uh, at that time we need any uh, we need any uh, analytical data so we can pass it over here. So listener will take a two argument like result and value. Okay. So this will this will load the banner and let's say it's let's call this function on button press load banner add. 
one more thing we require that we need to require a banner id simply copy the winner and id and paste to our paste it here and placement id let's run the application again We simply cast the container here so it will be anything uh, in our real application but for simplicity we put some uh, container here okay here is a button when we click on the button what it will be shown here right and you can see it is working when we click so we need some data which is on click as so all we are let's print here in object this is a result and so we can perform a, any analytical performance or any relevant uh, or f relevant action over here when user click on uh, click on add so we can uh, make track right so we get the data here so this is the how simple it is to uh, integrate the facebook banner ad in next video i will show how to integrate facebook interstellar Thank you for watching.